Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. So in this video, what I thought I'd do is I'd check out a fairly new application called WeDo. Now WeDo has been around for a while and it's actually been on my list for a farewell too, on my review list. Uh, there's actually a fair amount of apps that are on my review list and I need to get around to them. But WeDo is something that has been on there for a while. So WeDo is a new to-do list application. Uh, it's, it claims to be a habit tracker and also a planning application too. So what I wanted to do today is sort of go over uh, what, whether that reigns true and how it fits into the current productivity apps out there, to-do list apps specifically. Uh, I've been able to play around with it for a bit and I've been slightly impressed, but I want to share with you a few of the features. So here we are with WeDo. Uh, I've got it in front of me. As you can see, it is the application that is in the lower section, just next to Slack there with the wolf logo. Now, we do actually started out with a really simple logo. It was like a tick, pretty much what every to-do this application has. But they went with a wolf, uh, which was quite cool. So that's something that they added, slightly different, makes it sort of stand out. Obviously, there's bear up there and, and an elephant there, but you know animals aren't too uncommonly associated with productivity apps, but it's pretty well uh, sort of designed. So as you can see, I'm going into the app. This is the iOS version. They've got a uh, Android version and also a iOS version. They've also got Mac and if I'm right in saying they've got web, uh, which we can talk about in another feature. So as you can see, I've had a little bit of a play around here already. Um, you may have seen that uh, I've I've got some tasks set up. Uh, so there's some features that we want to talk about first. So the first thing is personal and work tasks. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, uh, you may see I've got two sections, Francesco and work. And Francesco is all of my personal items and, fr and work is all of my regular items uh, for work. So that's a pretty neat thing. So you can use thing, something called uh, separate uh, shared lists uh, where you can actually share lists together, but you can also create lists based on areas. So I made a home one for me really, um, and that's actually a good spot to have that and work. And you can press the add button to add a new group. So for example, if I wanted to add, I don't know, um, hobbies, I don't know, um, and add an emoji there. And you can add people from here. So if I wanted to add someone on my uh, contacts list, that could be something possible uh, and I can create. There is an icon optionality here. So if I do want to choose an icon, however, this is part of the premium experience. So I'll talk about that near the end. So if I'm happy to go, if I'm like hobbies, yeah, I've got a hobby section. As you can see, it comes up as a tertiary area for me to manage. Now, this is a good way to organize stuff and actually it's pretty relaxed. So as you can see, I'm in my Francesco area. Um, as you can see, I have, um, so meet we do is something they set up for you automatically, but this is where you can essentially store your tasks. These are two uncompleted tasks and I've set due dates for them on the 21st and the 23rd. Now they look really simple in structure, so um, they are tickable too. So if I want to, there we go, I ticked one off, uh, but I actually want to get that one back. Um, see, there we go, That there's something that I struggled with. Uh, so. It, I've hidden a task already. Uh, but if I go down to the bottom, that is the button to press plus to simply get my uh, task up, updated there. So if I wanted to redo that one, organize a trip to the malls, could quickly do that. Uh, and as you can see, it gives you the option to choose between the project folders that you have, which I'll explain in a minute. Gives you the optionality to choose a due date. So for example, due dates tomorrow, and you can add a reminder. So it could be today at like, almost midnight um, and you can also add whether it's on repeat weekly monthly yearly or daily so if I just add that one as you can see uh, it will appear tomorrow and once you click into an item you can see what context you added to it so I've got it due tomorrow you can add subtasks here so for example uh, plan route around location uh, call people to check availability Right, and you can see that once I tick one off, um, the subtasks come out, so that's quite neat. Uh, you have the ability to see a progress of it. Uh, repeat, which I did actually didn't add. Um, ooh. So I actually didn't add the recurring reminder, but I can remove it here, which is pretty good. So the due date actually was tomorrow, 
just on its own. I, I don't know why it's coming up. Ah, there we go. So there's a, a section there that you can remove the reminder. That's actually quite confusing. But it's probably something that they should uh, add. Time estimate is a premium feature. Assign to, again, I'm going to assign it to myself because I'm the only person here. You can change it, the list that it's evolved in and add any notes, and that's all within it. And as you can see, once you've added a bit more context, it gives you a bit more detail with the due date, subtasks, and information like that added to the edge. And you can also go back in and see everything. You can also add a file from a photo uh, library as well. Um, so yes, as you can see, uh, I've already added some tasks. Now, once I'm at the bottom, I can click this central do filter and I can actually section stuff off. So if I'm like, I only want stuff to see stuff for tomorrow or this week in total, then I can see that and I can actually see completed tasks as well. So they're the ones that I can find. So that was my mistake. It's available here. Um, and you can go back to it and find it. So if I remove the filter, it just go back to the general view. So hitting up here will allow you to edit list. You can edit the icon that you can choose a do not disturb mode, uh, which means that all of the uh, messages there won't nudge you, which is quite good. So going back to this central theme, you're probably like, whoa, uh, you've got uh, some complicated stuff here. So that is a project uh, the meet we do. Um, habits is an area that I will explain at the end. Ideas is a project that I created. Um, uh, an area that I created and in the bottom left hand corner you can add new people to it so if I wanted to add search people and add them that's easily editable there so if I just go back uh, yes you can move stuff down uh, if I hold down uh, this I can move it around I can't move uh, all tasks down basically because it's pinned to the top but I can go on to habits now and explain what that is so habits are a way that you can track your progress on certain things so like let's say I did a meditation today so I tick that uh, and I did a workout. I haven't done a workout today, actually. I'm almost there. But let's say I did yoga already today. Um, you can see that from the habits area, that's been done today. Uh, but from tomorrow, it won't be set up. You can choose some habits that are here. Uh, they'll give you some pre-recorded ones. Um, so it could be like um, you know, set to-do list. or uh, And you can add multiple ones as well, which is quite nice. So if I like drink eight glasses of water... Uh, you can add it to the list and the green indicates the progress and it will reset at the end of the day if i want to add my own i can set them to weekly monthly or daily and add a specific reminder for it so these are dead simple it's nothing advanced in the habit tracking abilities it's just a dead simple one to keep you progressing so as you can see from this screen in the bottom left hand corner if i click that you can see my today view which is quite nice i quite like this the fact that it breaks up your morning afternoon evening so i've got I've got drink eight glasses of water for my morning. I've got a giant jet ski during the day. I don't know. That's an idea. Uh, so I'll tick that one off, let's say, uh, and work out and meditate as my things. So if I go to the next day, I can see that in the evening I've got a task to do and, and, and it progresses on. So it tries to blend your um, tasks with your habits. I really like that. That's one of the things that really stood out to me when I was testing. The central bit allows you to add a list. So I can add a list via tasks, uh, for tasks, and a list for habits. And you can also join a list code. So for example, if that's someone you've already got that has a list code created. In the bottom right, you can create a to-do automatically from there. This is why it reminds me of Things 3 in a sense, because of the design and structure. But as you can see, it's dead simple. So if I go over to the work area, you can see that I have assigned by me as a task uh, and assigned by me uh, descending too. So I've got uh, a task already in there. And as you can see, I've added uh, some details to it. Uh, it gives you uh, all of the information and context like you would. So this would just be a breakout area. Now going to the settings page, you can see here that there is a pro area. I'm going to skip that for a second and go to profile. You can see that you've got a dedicated username uh, and name and also the mobile information. You've got uh, in your work section, you can add other members. You can edit a group and leave a group. You can change the theme, again, available in pro and icon available in pro. You get a quote a day too, which is a message that they drop you, which is quite nice. So uh, I like that at the bottom. We love Francesca. That's cute. So just to go into pro features, so the pro features split into two, it's themes, icons, and time estimates. Uh, so themes is basically you have the ability, very similar to Bear in a sense, the ability to change theme. That's quite nice, I guess, um, but if you're happy with one of them. Time estimating is keep track of how long your task will take and plan it accordingly. 
So you can actually, that's a good way when it comes to the section here. So if I'm on this page, it will start using that a bit more effectively. Um, so yeah, that's how to do it uh, pretty efficiently. And that is $1.49 per month. So very similar to bear pricing um, and you get a week free. So if I wanna go on a week free, I could access that now and I could quickly um, get all that information. So there we go, you pay £2.99 after that. So I won't do that, but uh, I will be doing a separate review on the pro experience because I, I think it will expand. So as you can see, a dead simple to do this application and something that is progressing rapidly, um, mainly because it's changed a lot since I last checked it out. It's available on Mac, iPhone, iPad, iWatch, iWatch, Apple Watch, web and Android, and it's fairly available on a lot of devices. Uh, other things I haven't mentioned, um, again, it tries to embed habit tracking it tries to embed time tracking it's trying to be a very simple experience but packaged under a very dead simple design um so it's actually it's pretty impressive for what it is. So as a whole, we do reminded me a little bit of Things 3 blended with like Microsoft To Do slash Wunderlist. I think it's a pretty functional application. Uh, it has all of the basics. And if you're someone that likes just the basics and a fun, well-designed application, then this might be for you. If you want to avoid the big structure and the price of Things 3, this might be an option for you. And if you are someone who's more web and uh, Android based, this could be a good option for you, mainly because I like the fact that they're available on a lot of devices. So guys, if you're someone that, that is interested in the Dudas application, as per normal, I'm gonna include everything in the description below that you can go and you guys can go and check out. Uh, but it was a, it was actually quite interesting checking out We Do. There are so many new apps coming out, so it's making sure to try and keep up and catch up with all of those. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, just before we go, if you haven't joined the weekly newsletter, you should be on it because it's all about productivity apps and resources. I apologize, make that change. It's monthly, it's a monthly newsletter, so it won't be too uh, bad for you uh, to join up. Uh, it rounds up all of the brilliant stuff in the community. Uh, so feel free to subscribe in the description below. And secondly, like this video, hit the subscription button, and feel free to hit the bell notification button for like the nudges on the videos when they come out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.